Hello, my celestial Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Mystic Storm here to clear a path to a new life with you. If you're new, welcome to the family. I pray that this reading resonates with you and that you're able to gain guidance for October 2020 and beyond. And if you're already a part of the Celestial Kingdom, you already know the deal. We back with another one. Another one. <laughs> All right, my Sag. So... I want to give you some uh, an overview of October. We start October off right with the Aries full moon. I'm currently filming this during the Aries full moon and I'm hype. <laughs> I mean, I just got off work and I was like, huh, I'm drained. And I listened to this one song. It was like, it was Me Versus Me by Young Money Bag. I think that's his name. But my Google pretty much, I said, uh, Google play, uh, and it just started playing young, um, uh, young money bag or money bag, yo. And it was called me versus me. It was the fourth one. And I was like, oh, this is what I needed to release. So yes, we're in the Aries full moon. Then we're followed by Mercury retrograde on the 13th through November 3rd. Then it's followed by the Libra new moon on the 16th and our second full moon of the month, the blue moon in Taurus on Samhain, aka, I, I keep, every time I say this, I think, I think my accent is coming out, aka Halloween. I was going to say, aka Halloween, Halloween. But yeah, I just wanted to give you some awareness on that. And speaking of awareness... This very well may be your sun sign, but I do encourage you to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus, in addition to uh, any one of those um, for last month. So, for instance, for Sagittarius, the message was open your heart for September 2020, okay? So, you might find that the you'll, you may find synchronicities and no, notice that it flows, okay? And I am available for readings. You can email me at mysticstorm333 and I'll be there for you. And you can follow me on social media as well. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at mysticstorm333. Okay? Well, right. So, my Sagittarius. The color I seen for you was white. And then the light went around my body and I felt refreshed. So the message I got was fresh start, clean slate. Fresh start, clean slate. This is beautiful energy for you, especially uh, during this time. If you watch, catch this, you know, around the full moon energy or just any through, throughout October, this is your clean slate. Beautiful transition. You know, we're in fall. We're releasing shedding. Perfect time to start anew. So I'm so happy for you. So let's get into the cards and see what additional messages Spirit has for you. We're going to start off with the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. All right. Spirit, what messages or guidance do you have for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2020 and beyond? Messages, guidance for my Sag for October 2020 and beyond. What do they need to know? The Mara. Other lives, past lives, dimensional lives. Interesting. And the number here is 37. That equals 10. Completion. Endings. So, in endings start with beginnings. I mean, after endings are beginnings. So, this is your clean slate. I feel like this is saying all your karmic debt has been cleared. Or you're in... In the process of clearing out your karmic debt, you're creating a clean slate that will heal you from past life traumas. You know, the whole our whole world revolves around cycles. If you don't learn the lesson, 
you continue to have the same scenarios. It might be same scenario, different people, different situations. So I feel like in this life and your past lives in other dimensions, okay? You have been going through the same cycle over and over and over again for eons. But now you have made the choice that is a pivotal moment in your life to where you're stepping out of that. So that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful, my Sag. Clean slate. Clean slate. Clearing up your karmic debt. That's beautiful. I want to read the illumination for this card, which is like an affirmation. And it says, I am a dimensional being who has lived thousands of, of lives, all with their wisdom and lessons to teach. Didn't I just say lessons, wisdom? So you, you've gained, finally, <laughs> finally gained the wisdom <laughs> that you need to move forward. And this is a time to celebrate that, bask in this new beginning that you have because it is here. It is for you. It's for all the other lives you live after this life. Like you don't have to deal with all that anymore. It, it's, it's, it's done, done. Okay, so I'm so happy for you. All right, so we're gonna get into the wild, the wild unknown animal spirit deck. All right. Spirit, what spirit animals does Sagittarius? need to pay attention to what energies are they showing how can they work with them thank you the elk the elk masculine energy the father earth energy as well the sun okay this is you stepping out and to into the light into a more positive um way of life you are illuminated you're you gain the wisdom and the knowledge you see how the antlers are illuminated to where you're not in the position to not in a position to continue this the path that you were on you're on a new path that's going to lead you to where you truly desire i was going to say to success to abundance you know Yes, that's that, but it's ultimately what do you define success to be? What do you define your abundance to be? Go for it. It's yours. Okay? So let's see what the elk energy has. Here we go. Stable, resilient, headstrong, the father. Resilience. I believe you have resilience. Man, um, I think that was for August, and I and I remember your reading. It, it was is have unshakable faith, have unshakable faith. Look at that. Let me. I want to double check that. I got my iPad here. Let me scroll, scroll, scroll. Yes, Sagittarius, August twenty twenty. Have unshakable faith. And it said, then the next one was open your heart to a, and then now it's a clean slate. The faith you've had for the past two months, come on, come on. It has opened you up. You are about to receive a multitude of blessings. I am so happy for you, my Sagittarius. Woo. All right. So it says the great elk represents the earth element in its masculine form. This means it provides underlying support and stability amidst life's many challenges. An elk personality, whether male or female, is fully established in themselves and knows their core values. They become known and respected for acting in ways that uphold those values. Sometimes the elk's ego can become inflated, but for the most part, they make damn good fathers, mothers, lovers, and friends. The world needs more elk energy. When in balance, supportive, kind, consistent. So you're in a balanced state right now. 
When out of balance, pretentious, high and mighty. And to bring or to stay into balance, eat and drink more consciously. Okay? So, this is beautiful. And you may not be a parent right now, but that's probably one of your goals. You may not uh, have a partner, but that may not be, that might be one of your goals. Or you may not have that many friends and you're trying to find your soul tribe. And that's one of your goals as well. Know that your energy will attract what you need. Okay? So beautiful. So beautiful, my Sagittarius. All right. We're going to get into the good tarot. Right. Spirit, what additional messages do you have for my Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to support the messages you have already shown us. Patience. Okay. Six of Fire. Mm. Ten of water. Let's go. Okay. So this is spirit saying, yes, you have a clean slate, but have patience. Because this change you have made, you see 14 reduces to five. That change that you have made, it took time for you to realize what you needed to do in order to end this cycle. It, it took it took thousands of years. You know, so have patience in this new life. Okay, the time, time is an illusion. Time is, you have, you have time. Just, just take it slow and, and be resilient. Okay. And then we also have six of fire. Six of fire. This is like six of wands. Six is all about harmony. Okay. And in love. Right? So in Six of Fire, Six of Wands is victory. There we go. Victory. You are victorious. You are illuminated. And you you have passed the test. Okay? So now you're you're elevated. You're elevated and you're you you elevated and upgraded. You see all the hot air balloons over here? And then you see, you got a whole boat with your big old hot, uh, hot air balloon. So you've elevated and upgraded. The glow up is real. Okay. So this is beautiful. Look at your reflection. Look and, and see how far you've come. Okay. This is happiness. This is fulfillment that is coming. You, you already sense it, but oh boy, once you give it some time to develop, that peace, that inner peace, nobody can, nobody can uh, touch that. Nobody can touch that. You are emotionally fulfilled. You have all that you need and, you're, and you do that with taking care of yourself, having self-love, having compassion for yourself and others. Okay? Yes. I love it. Let's continue. Two of air in reverse. You're no, no longer at a crossroad. You're no longer at a crossroad. You you were probably stuck and stagnant. You didn't know which way to turn. And that's what's been locking you up for your past lives. And for this life as well. You might be going through um, your Saturn return. Saturn returns happen like in your late 20s, early 30s. So... This is that. So here. So it will be in reverse. So seven of fire. Okay. And then one more. One more spirit to. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ten of earth. I'm taking this upright because it was like flip. flip, flip. So. I'm taking this upright. So you will be emotionally fulfilled and you will have stability and have 
all the abundance you need, okay? So I feel like, again, with this two of air, you're no longer at a crossroad, right? You have made the decision, and the decision you made has changed the game, has changed the game. There might be some lingering doubts that this is, this is really it. I've made it to the top. No longer do I have to worry about what is behind me. But now all I have to do is look upward. It's scary to be at the top. It's scary to be, to make it. Because what is, what is after this? Will I fall again? If you fall, you know how to get back. I would just say that you know how to, you know the game now, you know how to get back, but spirit is saying, no, you're, you're not going back. You have all what you need to live a prosperous life. You have it. Your spirit animal might be the wolf. The wolf is here. You might want to look into that. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm here for it, my Sag. I hope you are too. So we're going to close out with the Wild Offering deck. But before we do, I do invite you to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can continue to get content from this beautiful, growing, and abundant channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. You know, spread spread some of your little energy over here, please. <laughs> I love it. I'm so happy for you, my Sag. Spirit, what are the final messages you have for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to conclude this reading? Messages, guidance to close out this reading. Too many. And the perfect card, spirit. This one, I feel this one. This one has the most energetic pull. Service. Service. You might be in the service business. You might um, provide a service for your side, side job or your second job. So let's see. It says, you stop using the universe to try to get what you want. And start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. Let me read that again. Because this is big. You know, you're starting this new venture. You're wanting to uh, gain this prosperity, this uh, uh, overall abundance. You do that through service. You're doing that through some type, some form of business, right? So let's let's read this again. It says, you stop using the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. Letting the chips fall where they may and be having fulfillment in the services you are providing and know that you will be um, supported by what services you provide. And being of service, maybe you might be called to um, heal. You might definitely be a healer and a fellow intuitive. So you might be taking the call taking a call to start this journey and this is where the patience is coming in but know that this journey is going to lead to a prosperous life but enjoy the process i'm speaking to myself too and don't focus so harshly on the end goal focus on your mission your what's the mission you are trying to accomplish so i hope you um enjoyed this reading because man we definitely clearing paths to a new life and you see it you see it 
You got a clean slate, Sag, and you here for it. It's only up from here, okay? So I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful October 2020 and beyond, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.